it's Holly and today I'm here with my friend Julia who's an international student from Germany. So she's been at my school since September and she's staying here for two semesters. And today we thought we would just go over some of the pros and cons and our experiences being international students or exchange students, whatever you want to call it, in Canada or in France. So I'm a Canadian and I went to France for three months and obviously Julia's here in Canada. So we're just going to talk about the differences between our experiences and why you should also try to be an exchange student because it's a really cool opportunity, oh, yeah. experience. It's just kind of a bunch of tag-like questions that we're going to answer and see how we compare. Okay, did you always know you wanted to study abroad? Uh, kind of. Like, I went for an exchange for like one week to France and after that I always wanted to go again so then I went to England and to Finland and then <laughs> I had the opportunity to go for like a whole year so I was like, I need to do that. Well, my parents were like, no, <laughs> <laughs> But, well, I'm here now, so... Yes. I mean, once you start traveling, you just want to keep yes. traveling. I mean, I had never really traveled until I went to France. I had been to the United States and that was pretty I've much never it. Been there. Well, someday I'm sure you'll go I want to go there so bad. Yeah, it's it's a very cool place. Um, but anyway, I just, like, every time I heard about an exchange, I thought, that would be kind of cool. And then there was a presentation in my grade 9 French class about the ISC Ontario exchanges. And I was like, wait, that, I could actually do that. So then I just started thinking about that all the time. and But I don't think I always knew. But every time it came up, it sounded like something that would be yeah. cool. Yeah, I know. I mean, I talked with a friend about it, she wanted to go, like, the year before me, and she was like, yeah, I want to do it, and then, I never knew you actually could have, could do it, so I was like, okay, that's interesting, so when mm -hmm. I went home, I was like, looking, looking it up all online, I was like, I need to do it. Yeah, because then you just start, like, thinking yeah. about it when you go to sleep, and when you're walking down to school, and everything, it's just, what would it be like? So. It would be so cool. And obviously, here you are, so. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Two years later. Um, what made you want to study abroad in your location, so where we are, or were specifically? Mm. I mean, the only other language I speak is French, so my options were like French, France or Quebec or Switzerland, I guess. But then France just seemed like the most common, obvious place, and it always looks so beautiful, so well, that was kind of how I chose. <laughs> Well, why did I keep to Canada? Um, yeah, I mean, well, you could have gone to the U.S. or I Australia know, like, or something. It's so complicated, actually, but I don't know. If I first wanted to go to the U.S., but then my parents were like, uh, I, I'm not so sure about it. What about, like, Scotland? <laughs> and I was like, no, no, <laughs> I, I don't want to. I'm sorry. So then I was thinking around, and I'm like, yeah, what about Canada? So that's how I ended up here. Yeah. Nice. Oh, this is, should be an interesting question. <laughs> what did you pack that you definitely didn't need? Oh. I think the one thing I packed that I didn't really need was sweatpants. I thought I would wear them around the house or things like that, but nobody in France ever wears sweatpants really? to school or anything like that. Like, I never saw anyone wearing sweatpants. And then I just wore yoga pants around the house or leggings, so yeah. I just brought this big pair of sweatpants that I never wore. I mean, maybe you were just perfect. <laughs> Every no, definitely not. Need. Um, I can't even remember what I packed, but oh, I should have packed less pants. Like, mm. I mean, I packed like seven pairs of pants, <laughs> and but I bought so many pants here too. So I was like, no, I have like ten pairs of pants, and I have no <laughs> idea how to fit them all in my suitcase. So. I mean, because it's so cold here, so you obviously yeah. thought I'm yeah. gonna need pants, but... Yeah. What were you excited about or nervous about before you left? I think everything. <laughs> <laughs> Except for the things I wasn't excited about. <laughs> uh, I was excited about, like, getting out of Germany. Like... Just seeing like, some place new, yes, I guess. Yes, exactly. Like, yeah, me too. Go to a new school, meet new people, get to eat new food and I don't know, like all of these kind of stuff. Yeah, that's a cool way to put it, just like everything new yes. is exciting. You get out of your old boring life and... Yeah, like your everyday life you get kind of tired of it after oh, a while, yeah. so... And nervous, I think mostly just the language, because my French wasn't very good when I went at first. It was okay, yeah. but I think mostly understanding other people, not even being understood, because I knew that I could say a few words and be hopefully understood, but just understanding everyone, I'd be like, what are you saying? 
Um, what I was most nervous about was like finding friends because mm -hmm. I'm a really really shy person so I was like what if I won't find any friends and it would be all yeah, <laughs> you've scared. actually met a lot of people here I know I met so many people like yeah. I did not thought about like that. in your classes and you join clubs and stuff I know like I'm doing so much stuff that's cool how are your classes different there from classes here well um the school system in general is completely different so here we just have four classes every day for one semester and in Germany you have like 12 classes in a week yeah um so I don't know um and well the teachers the teachers are different you have a different yeah. relationship to your teachers than you have in Germany I think me it was the opposite like because yeah. is it similar in France and Germany I think like the I teachers think, were definitely yeah. more like like I'm the teacher, this is the class, yeah, I just exactly. I just teach you and that's yeah. it. Whereas here, some of my teachers are kind of like friends in a way where I could be like, how was your weekend? And yeah. they would ask me, like, how are you feeling? You look really stressed right now or things like that. Yeah. Like, yeah, in France, not really. No, in Germany either, like. And the t I think the timing here is more, like it's pretty much nine till three. I mean, 8.55 yeah. till 3.15, but it depends on where you are. Whereas in France, it was it varied a lot. Like it would start at eight and then end at six. Sometimes end at four. Sometimes yeah, end at twelve. Yeah, sa same in Germany. Same so, in Germany. which class was your favorite? You my can, drama class. I knew you were gonna say that. <laughs> I love my drama class. Well, my drama class from the first semester, and my second favorite class is my photography class. Huh. Which is surprisingly because I hated this class in the beginning. Yeah, I mean it grew on you. So. Yes. That's good. I think mine was French class. So just, we would talk about books and stuff like that. And that's where I learned that I really like French literature. Because before, I'd never read anything in French. Yeah. I'd, I'd pretty much just read textbooks. So I actually learned that it can be pretty beautiful. That's nice. Oh, oh what is your favorite phrase or word to say in the language you learned? Okay, I'll say mine. I've said this a lot on my YouTube channel before. My favorite word in French is mouche which means fly, like the little insect, and I don't know why, I think it's mostly just because it sounds really, it's really satisfying, moosh. Moosh. <laughs> I don't yeah. know. What tips would you give for immersing yourself in a different language? If you're watching TV or kind of unplugging from your life, try to do it in that language too. Because if you start watching something in your own, like, own language or texting all the time with your family, yeah. then you don't really... You kind of lose your thinking, wait, because you start thinking in the other language, and then you'll revert back. Yeah, so I'm like, for example, if I spend like a whole day at school with like all my friends, and like I'm just speaking English, I'm speaking English from my house family in the evening, and I don't have any contact to my friends in German. You know, if I'm not watching like a TV show in German, like I'm thinking in English, and if suddenly I'm talking like the whole day with my friends, I'm starting to think in German again, and then I'm like completely yeah. confused. Yeah, and then it's almost like yeah. you're going backwards because then I you know. kind of forget some of the things that you were doing before. Yeah, now we're on to the food section. Oh. So this is exciting. So I think the first one's pretty general. What was the food like? Or what is the food like? <laughs> I mean, if you compare Canada to Germany, like, it's kind of the same, but it's also kind of different. I mean, you, you have, like, I think more fast food. Yeah, I and, think so. Um... I mean, my host family is like cooking a lot of vegetables and all that kind of stuff, but I feel like here are just three kinds of vegetables: broccoli, um, <laughs> Brussels sprouts, and uh, cauliflower, like the white one. Oh yeah. I don't know. Yeah, it's cauliflower. Yeah, yeah, you're exactly. right. Yeah, I I think it depends on your family, and then there's different varieties of things that are available, and I think in general every meal I ate in France was delicious. <laughs> Even the cafeteria food was good. I don't know if this is just my complete bias because French food is known for being really good, but like my host family cooked so well. Did they? they did. Oh, well, I, I think it depends honestly on what family you end up because some people true. love cooking, true. some people don't love cooking. Yeah. But my host mom loved cooking and the food was so good. The weirdest thing that I ate, oh my god. I don't know what the weirdest thing was. I know. The new foods, there's this thing called Twil, which was this, it was like a. It was shaped like a roof tile, which is called tuile in French, and 
uh, I had it in Lyon. It was like made of almonds and I think flour and stuff like that and it was covered in chocolate. So it was like this really crispy good. chip like thing. It wasn't, it was really like sweet, but it was kind of like you broke off pieces of it and it was just kind of like a bark of chocolate and almonds and sugar and that was really good. A uh, new food I tried, um, poutine. Oh yeah. Like, I've had it it's really good. Actually. It is really good. <laughs> I really like I it. I didn't even have it till this July. Huh? Like, I've lived in Canada my entire life and I hadn't had poutine <laughs> until July. I know. How can that be? I had it in Quebec City, which is where, like, poutine is yeah. kind of from. Oh. But I just never had it, which is weird. I mean, I really like it. It is quite, quite good. Yeah, but I don't have any weird food. Like, yeah, I don't know if there's any really weird food. Like, mm, oh, th blue cheese. Cheese, like, the cheese that kind of is, like, growing mold and stuff like that. Oh, I love that cheese. Yeah, I've never had that before. It's it so smells good. so bad. But it's so but good. But it's actually quite good. Yeah. Yeah. What kind of food did you miss? Bread. I miss German bread. I want to try German bread. Here in Canada, I feel like here's just, like, toast. Like, the all the flour bread. here just isn't as good, I don't think. I don't know. I don't know, but, like, all the bread we have is, like, toast. And I'm like... Mm. That's not real bread. I'm gonna be yeah. so happy when I have good bread again. Like, oh my god. <laughs> I don't know what I... I think I mostly missed the availability of large amounts of peanut butter. Because, yes, I brought peanut butter, but we kind of ran out of it partway through, so then I didn't have any peanut butter, and I was just craving peanut butter so much. I hate peanut butter. I think I'm addicted to peanut butter. <laughs> I mean, it's not bad, but it's like nothing I would eat on my bread or something. Yeah, I whereas I would put it with everything. Describe your favorite day. Right. I mean, you haven't had all your days yet, so it might change. True. It's hard. I think that mine was the day that my host family and I, we drove into the mountains, like the, the Alps, and then we were listening to music in the car, and then we walked through this little village, oh. Had a, we had a picnic of baguette and cheese and Swiss chocolate. That so good. It was so good. And then we just walked, like hiked up this mountain, and like I just remember looking off the top of the mountain and being like, I'm on top of the world. Like Aww. it was, I think that was my favorite day. That's so sweet. Um, I don't know. The day she met me. <laughs> well, <No. laughs> that was one of the first days you were here, yeah, actually. Yeah, it was. Like, I think. Third or I mean, that day in Toronto was pretty fun. It was, definitely. That was really nice. Yeah, we went up the CN Tower. And oh, yeah. Fort York. What, what else, where else did we uh, go? The museum. Oh, yeah, the art gallery. Yeah. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Ooh, and our Chinese restaurant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we had no time to do Yeah, we went all. to this Chinese restaurant. We got some food. Well, we waited. We waited. You know, yeah. we had a nice time just sitting in the restaurant. Yeah, it was really nice. But, like, we had 30 minutes yeah. of, like, lunch break mm -hmm. because our bus was really late. So then we waited for the food, and then we got the food, and we ate maybe three, three minutes, minutes, and then we ran. Yeah. <laughs> hey, can we have some things to put our food in? And then no. We... Well, mm -hmm. then at the museum we needed to wait, so we actually would have had time to eat it there. But yeah. Okay. Oh well. Um, weather. Um, what do you think of Canada's well, weather? In the beginning, I was super surprised. It was super super hot, and I just mm -hmm. had like two shorts. And I was like basically washing them like every day. Yeah, like the first week yeah. or two we had like a heat wave, I it think. It was so hot. Well, now it's super, super cold. We've had six snow days or something like that in the last two weeks, three weeks. It's that's, really that's weird. A lot. Our weather in Canada yeah. is strange. I know. And then in France it's weird because they don't heat their schools or their houses as much. So even though in February it was warmer than it was here, I was actually colder a lot of the time because they had tile floors and their schools, like, you had to bring your coat to class and stuff like that. It, it was just, really? it, was, it was, people would bring their coat to class and obviously take it off, but then you had to walk between buildings and stuff yeah. like that, so it was just kind of rainy all the time. Oh. But by the end, like, even March, April, it was nice, so. That's... Like, what did you think about Canadians before coming here? Um. What, what did Germans think about Canadians? That's what I'm trying to think about right now. <laughs> um... It's kind of hard to answer this question yeah. because now I don't have to stereotype anymore. Because now you're just been because living now here. I know, and now I don't think about these things anymore. My knowledge of Canadian stereotypes is that we're really polite and that it's super oh, cold. Oh, true, true. Like, and everyone says, "How are you?" Yeah, or sorry. Oh yeah. <laughs> Was is that true? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. I will like walk into a wall. Sorry. sorry. <laughs> yes. Oh wait, the wall doesn't actually care. And then France is just like they like baguette. Some people smoke, but then again, some people smoke here, so I don't think it's as big as people think it is. Wait, it's a cliché that France 
that people in France smoke. Yeah. They eat frog. Yeah, or um, like snail. We, yeah, like exactly. That. I mean, I never ate snail, but then again, a lot of my host family was vegetarian, and I'm vegetarian, so... And, like, my host mom, she made me breakfast when I was in France. Like, I wanted to eat cereal, and she put, like, instantly tea into cereal. No, milk. Oh, I was we, like... I don't... We, we just had milk with cereal. Okay. But we did drink tea from a bowl, uh, which was weird. Do you know... Kind of cool. Do you, do you know brioche? Like yes, that I was love so this good. Bread. Oh my gosh, that's amazing! They had this brioche in oh Lyon, which was infused with these pralines, which are these little yeah. almonds covered in pink sugar. Yeah, cool, that was good. I tried to find it when I was back in Germany. No chance. Oh. Like this brioche was so bad. What type of clothes do people oh, wear? Yeah. Um, they wear a lot of like comfortable clothes to school. Like, <laughs> Example. They like here people. I won't say that they that they do not care, but like it's like they have like sweatpants, a sweater, and yeah, people shoes. It's not as big a deal. Like for example, oh, sandals with socks. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, and in France, it's kind of like I think in Germany where people care more a little bit. They wear jeans to school. Yeah, and I mean some of kind of nicer some clothes. Some people don't care, yeah. yeah like, but then again, here you'll see people wearing pajamas to school sometimes, which is a little weird. Yeah, true. I don't really do that, but I do wear big sweaters. It depends on my mood. If I'm feeling yeah. really motivated or a little sleepy. I, yeah. I just hate to wear sweatpants to school, so I'm not doing yeah. that. But otherwise, sweaters are really comfortable. Yeah, I mostly just wear jeans with a sweater. Because yeah. in the winter, you kind of have to wear a sweater because it's so cold. How did you get around? With the bus? The really expensive bus pass. Yay. Yeah, your bus pass, it's so expensive here, I actually. Know. I don't even have a bus pass because it's so expensive. So I just it buy is. the tickets and try to use them as sparingly yeah. as possible. Uh, I got around mostly just by car with my host family. <laughs> well, like, sometimes friends drive me, so that's good. Yeah. What was your favorite place that you traveled to? I really liked Toronto, like, when we did the trip there. With, like, all yeah. the internationals. That was really nice. I like yeah, Toronto is a nice and city. And Niagara Falls. Yeah, touristy thing like like Paris. For me, I liked Paris, but I mean the Eiffel Tower is kind of cool to see. But I thought it was more cool actually to see some of the museums. So I would definitely recommend museums. <laughs> but at the end, some people are not museum people. So <laughs> I'm definitely a museum person. <laughs> like the Musée d'Orsay, pretty nice. I mean, I was there when I was I was in Paris when I was fourteen, so I wasn't really into museums and that mm -hmm. kind of stuff. So maybe if I would go now, it would be more interesting for me. What is one tourist thing that is totally worth it? Um, going on top of the CN Tower. That was yeah. really pretty. I mean, even as a Canadian, I did it for the exact same time as you for my first time. Totally worth it. That it was, was so, so cool. Nice. Like, yeah. Yeah. Pretty much, I like most touristy things. When you're a tourist, there's a reason yeah. it's a touristy yes. thing, you know? It's, it's really nice. You're probably gonna <laughs> like it. Yeah. How did you keep in touch with people while you were abroad? I FaceTime people like once like, a week. Do you mean like the people from, from your, your home country? country. Oh, yeah. yeah. WhatsApp, video mm -hmm. chat, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, video chats make it a lot easier. I yeah. feel like if you had to write letters or something, that would be so hard. I probably wouldn't get any letters back from my friends. Like, yeah. I always would send them, but like, my friend, she hates to write letters. So, well, I've yeah. got one. Um, but yeah. I mean, I sent a couple of postcards too, like, yeah. kind of in the middle. Like, I've sent one package to my friend. Yeah. So now. That's nice. So that's what I did. But most of the time, just video chat. That's the easiest thing Yeah, ever. I think most people do that now. But like with the time difference? You have to do it at the right, yeah, at like a specific yeah. time, so sometimes it doesn't work out. Kind of annoying. I do it most of the time on the weekends. Like, yeah. That works. Because then it doesn't matter really if yeah. it's morning or afternoon. Cause I mean, when no it's 9 a.m. here, like in Germany, it's, uh, it's 3 p.m., so it works with it. Will you stay in touch with people? I hope so. <laughs> I stayed in touch with a couple people. Mostly Instagram was nice for keeping up with people, so I could be like, oh yeah, I've seen that this sure. person did this and did this, but I don't actually talk to them that much, okay. whereas there's like two or three people that I'll FaceTime occasionally and that kind of thing. Cool. What was the most common thing people ask you about where you're from? I was once with some friends in a, ca in a coffee shop, and they were like, well, you're from Germany, do you speak German fluent? I was like, <laughs> yes! <laughs> What but other language would you speak? Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. That I mean, was, like the only thing weird, weird thing someone asked. 
I was asked once about if there was a lot of polar bears in Canada, and I was sure. like, I'm sure there are in the north, but I live in a city, so yeah. no, not really. I think my most, one of my most embarrassing moments, well, they all had to do with language, I think. One of them was when I would pr I pronounced mango in French is mong, but I pronounced it mang, and people didn't know what I was saying, because <laughs> this was right at the beginning of my time in France, and so I didn't really know what I was doing. And then they everyone laughed at me. But then again, people are laughing kind of with you, but also yeah. at you. It's mostly about things when you mess up. I know what you mean. Have there been any really embarrassing moments for you? Till now, I don't think so. Which is good. What was the most interesting thing you learned about the culture? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. Okay, this is a deep question. I don't want to answer that. Okay. No. Did you get homesick? Till now, not. Which I'm super happy about because oh, in, the that's good. in the beginning I thought I would be like super homesick like every day, but in the end I wasn't, which that's is good. awesome. Like so, I don't know. I was homesick like, I think it was the third week for about about the span of a week I was homesick because yeah. for the first two weeks everything's super exciting and new, yeah. and then it was the third week where I was like, wait, I still have ten more weeks here. Oh my gosh! And I just started feeling like I won't see my family for ten weeks. <gasps> But I, th I think after about five days or so, it passed. Mm, so it was, it was mostly just, uh, you know, trying to distract yourself and do fun yeah. things and not just think about yeah. your family all well, the time. A good way of dealing with homesick is, I think, just doing something like, please don't stay in your room. You go and talk to people yeah, like, and try to know. hang out with friends or family, yeah. like your host family, things exactly. like that. What did you think of the length of your program? Was it a good amount of time to be abroad? Well, I mean... Well, yeah. the fact that I don't want to go home is more like I want to stay longer. Indication. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, first it was planned for me to stay just five months, but then I thought I want to extend for ten months, which I'm super happy about because I could not imagine to be already back home. Yeah, so. that's good. So good length. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think I could have like that's a long time to be abroad. I mean, you're a little. I was fifteen, so I was a little bit yeah. younger. I mean, if I could start again, I would try to be even more open and. I'm overthinking a lot, so I was like, mm. should I go to the, like the people I met in class and like should I go to them or should I not? Because I was like, maybe I annoy them or something. So I was like, I yeah. better stay like away. Maybe they don't want to have something to do with me. So I kind of regret regret doing that a couple of times. And th yeah, I actually think the exact same thing. Yeah, I wasn't as open to foods. I should have been more open to foods at the beginning. Just try things, and I should have been more open. Just in general to it. Yeah. everything like just try everything don't, don't hold back because you're only there for the one time yeah. how would you describe study abroad in five words exciting sometimes disappointing mm -hmm. yeah you're getting disappointed um awesome yeah stressful yeah and oh my god Unique. Yeah, those are good ones. <laughs> Which ones should I do? Okay, I would agree. I think stressful and probably tiring because oh, yeah. those would be those would yeah. be the negatives, and then the positives would be um, incredible, um, eye-opening. Which is uh, there's a hyphen, so that's one word, and then uh, friendship, maybe. Sure. Well, it's a once in a lifetime experience, so. Did you spend more or less than you thought? <laughs> Have you spent more or less than you thought, Julia? Well, let me explain. <laughs> Definitely, yes. A lot more. You you spend so much money for like random thing. I mean, like the bus pass and my phone plan mm -hmm. are already like hundred dollars, and then like food, clothes. If you want to yeah, go out sometimes, with like you spend so much money, even though if you want it or not. Yeah, and then you want to buy things for people yes. and for yourself, and you're like, I'm only here once, I'll buy this yeah, expensive exactly. shirt for myself. So, yeah, more for sure. Yeah. What did you learn about yourself? I learned that I overthink a lot of things, and <laughs> that I need to try to just be more chill, <laughs> more calm. Honestly, that's the same with me. Like, before I came here, I was overthinking everything. Like, I don't know, I did not stop thinking. Which is a really bad habit for me, but yeah, same. like I'm getting better, so yeah, just don't overthink. Just it will happen the way it will happen. What advice would you give to another student? Try and, everything. Don't and, overthink. 
and don't have too high uh, expectations. Yeah. Because I thought before I came here, everything will be super, super bad and I want to go home after a week. I thought I would get a bad host family, I would find no Aww. friends, I would be homesick every day and nothing, none of that happened. So yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, don't... I think it's best to just go in with an open mind and yeah, not... Because if you expect it to be perfect, you're kind it of bound for failures because there's no yeah. way... Even it, your everyday life isn't yeah. perfect, so there's no I mean, way it could be like that. Even though I love it here, it's not perfect. Yeah. No, it cannot be perfect. Yeah, if you're living a perfect life, are you even human? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you want to see more videos maybe with Julia, then leave your uh, questions or comments in the comment section below. Yeah, so thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you, or we'll see you another time. <laughs> Bye! Bye! <laughs>